Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer, Thursday the 14th of May. My name is Reverend Paul Lavender, the Senior Pastor at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church here in Northampton. Thank you for joining me tonight. I trust you've had a good day and that you're safe and you've enjoyed good weather and that you're aware of having been held through the day by the Lord Jesus himself. As we come together this evening and we'll be reading later from Romans 8. Let's bow our heads and pray together and remember the Lord's presence with us now. Psalm 28 To you, O Lord, I call my rock. Do not refuse to hear me. For if you are silent to me, I shall be like those who go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication as I cry to you for help, as I lift up my hands towards your most holy sanctuary. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who are workers of evil, who speak peace with their neighbours while mischief is in their hearts. Repay them according to their work and according to the evil of their deeds. Repay them according to the work of their hands. Render them their due reward, because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the work of his hands. He will break them down and build them up no more. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the sound of my pleadings. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts. So I am helped. And my heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. O oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them for ever. Thanks be to God for his word. Let us pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the good things you so richly provide. We thank you for your wisdom given when we ask you. And we thank you for your love for us, unasked and undeserved. Give us ever thankful and grateful hearts, and always a sense of how much we owe you. Then help us to serve you as you deserve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, we have sinned. We lift up our voice to you and cry for your mercy. There is no one else to whom we can go. Save us from our sins and from temptations that are too strong for us. Set us free that we may praise your name through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Give us time for amendment of life. And bring us the grace and the companionship of the Holy Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Bible reading this evening is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 8, beginning to read at the 12th verse. So then, brothers and sisters, we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh, for if you live according to the flesh you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if in fact we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. Thanks be to God for his word. You have received a spirit of adoption. These are 
wonderful words. And in Jewish and Hellenic, that's Greek society, and in Roman society, there was a principle concerning adoption which will have informed Paul's words here. Namely, that if you were a natural born son, you could be disowned by your father. But if you were adopted, you would never be disowned. And so when the Apostle Paul speaks about the spirit of adoption, of being claimed as God's very own, and to pick up on that Old Testament phrase of being God's very own possession, when Paul speaks of that here in Romans 8, he's reminding those with whom he's communicating that God will not turn his back on them. He has given them, in fact, the confidence to know that spirit of adoption, that God will never turn his back upon them. They are his forever and forever. And therefore, they need not fear. They are co-heirs with Christ. Even if they share in suffering with him, they know that they can share too in glorification with him, to share in the very glory of Christ one day. To know that we are God's adopted children should give us confidence, it should give us hope, it should spur us on, particularly in times when we may feel uh, that we have all things to fear because of Christ, we know we have nothing to fear, for we are his adopted children. And in that, and for that, we give thanks. Let's spend a moment of quiet. Let's confess together the faith of the church as we say together the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray together. This evening we pray for the church in Saudi Arabia, for Christians there. And we pray too for those who are seeking to find out more about the Lord Jesus in a culture that may be so alien and antagonistic towards Christian believers. We pray that the Lord Jesus himself would send out more workers into this harvest field. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we pray this evening for the presence of Jesus in our lives. As we own him as Father, the name is our friend. We pray, Lord, that when we are weak, you would strengthen us. When we are lonely, you would speak to us. When we are sad, you would comfort us. When we are glad, we may know you rejoicing with us. Thank you that you are our guide, our keeper, 
our shepherd and our shield. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh God, make us more thankful for what we have received, more content with what we have, and more mindful of others in need. We ask this for the sake of he who lived for us in poverty, Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the moment of quiet prayer, we offer to the Lord our own intentions and intercessions this night. in whatever language or form is common to us we say together the words of the Lord's Prayer our Father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So may the Lord lead your hearts into the love of God and to know the patience of Christ and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you and with those whom you love with God's people everywhere, this night and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me for evening prayer tonight. God bless you. Keep you safe. Pray that you'll know peace and rest and sleep tonight. And that whatever tomorrow may hold. And for some of you it may hold particular challenges, opportunities. And the next few days may indeed be ones uh, where you will pass through uh, times of challenge and also opportunity. May the Lord be your comfort and your strength. And may you know that you are God's special sons and daughters. Good night and God bless. <laughs>